Today's reading is about problem solving. So the question that I'm going to ask the cards is, can I fix this at home, alone, by myself? And if not, how can I fix it? Um, so yeah, I mean, this, this can apply to many different situations um, and circumstances. So just like think in your head now before I begin about what you want it to apply to for you and then I will do the reading and I will follow my intuition as to whether I will be more specific about it or not um, so like I might relate it to to something that is more topical um, or or something that is kind of like going on in in my um, immediate like arena right now um, that I think will be of use to you or I might keep it really open but it really does depend on on the cards and and my intuition as I read them so I'm doing a reading um, today from the Radiant Rider Waite deck um, which is a deck that I've done quite a few readings um, from now it's one of my favorite decks actually um, which surprised me when I started reading cards actually because like I'm I'm an artist I spend a lot of time um, you know doing various forms of art be it drawing painting um, needlework um, you know knitting textile art um, what else um, modeling um you know all, all of these like kind of different art forms writing um uh, kind of like made me made me feel like i would want a really modern contemporary deck that had like um beautiful delicate illustrations in it um and modern interpretations of the symbolism um, because that's kind of like more like what my art is, artistic style is so that's what what I, I find beautiful to look at that's what I like to create um, but actually when it came to the cards even though I have those decks um, and even though they are beautiful as pieces of art and I would like to just frame the cards and stick them on my wall um, when it comes to actually using them and reading them, for me, they don't speak quite so loudly and clearly as the original deck. And so that's why I quite, I, I'm, you know, I mostly go back to the, to the Rider Waite deck and my choice of the Rider Waite decks um, is mostly the Radiant Rider Waite deck is because it, 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 it really, it resonates and it speaks to me and it has clear, clear mess, a clear message comes through. And it feels less less diluted and muddled and messed around with and I think quite often when people create decks beautiful unique decks and we then buy them to use I think for the person that created that beautiful unique deck it works amazingly because it speaks from their heart and their soul and their higher self yeah but for for other people when they then purchase those decks to use them um they're not necessarily connecting with that same train of thought some people will and some people won't depending on how much they have in common with that other person's way of thinking and so when i'm doing um readings for people not for myself but for other people i find it's generally um better and clearer to do a reading from the Rider Waite deck or one deck that's similar to that simply because that symbolism has been around for for many 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 years in that form and therefore it is already in the collective co consciousness and so um so it's more accessible to everybody yeah and so even if you haven't had any experience with reading the cards and even if you don't think you're that like you know um connected to your intuition yet you you can still access the messages from these cards um whereas you might not be able to from from the other more modern um 
ones and certainly not from the abstract ones. So that's why I prefer this deck when I'm doing readings for other people. Um, okay, so I'm just shuffling the cards to clear the deck. to think about what you would like to fix. What is the problem currently? Interesting. Sorry not to put the fear into you or anything, but very, very interesting what has come up. So, the can I fix this at home alone by myself? The card that's come up is the Five of Wands. So this is a very busy card, it's a very active card, it's a card with five different versions or opinions of itself. It's a card with five different viewpoints perhaps, it's a card potentially with conflict, um, with a clashing of um, wands. Um, it's a card of everybody trying to speak the loudest and reach the highest in order to be heard. Um, it's like I look at this card and I see like the shape of the pentacle which is on the pentacle cards yeah the 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 the, the star that that is in the middle of the pentacles um cards yeah the coin on the pentacles cards yeah that pentacle star I can see it trying to come through here I can see it trying to be present in the shape of the wands in this picture um, so it's almost like like these these ones this this creative energy ones are all about creation yeah so this creative energy that's like firing on all cylinders and coming from five different directions is trying to translate itself into a currency yeah into something of value something that can then um, build something change something and yet it's like some of them are working together and some of them are working on their own and there is not that cohesiveness between them and so it's like you've got this this problem yeah this thing that you're trying to deal with and i mean the the, the the um, background in this card is like it's a beautiful day the sky is so so blue and vibrant yeah and the grass is like bursting yeah it's so green um almost like what the world looks like right now you know the world is looking very healthy right now compared to what it has been previously like we can see the sky it's blue it's not crisscrossed with like chemtrails and the ground um is is cleaner is less littered is less injured by us and 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 so it's like it's a healthier environment than it has been previously and yet there's all of this activity going on on its surface and beneath the feet of this activity there's like wear and tear occurring um and it's a bit dry and it's a bit parched and it needs a bit of tlc and and so so this card is kind of saying it's like you could try and fix this at home alone on your own um but you might be butting heads with many different um approaches that you are throwing at it so it's like it's almost like you've you you've got five different things in your head that you think might help or you've got five different things in your head that you want to try out or maybe as you try to fix this on your own at home you will discover five things or more yeah but like it's so many things and you're throwing everything at it and because it's like five different approaches how can you really know which one works and which one doesn't unless you get that miracle solution fix or cure um and so this kind of kind of saying that yeah 
you, you probably could try to fix it at home and do it yourself and maybe you could you know get to where you want to go and if you can coordinate all of these people maybe you can build that Pentecost star yeah and translate it into um, a pentacle a coin something of, of worth to you within this situation but at the same time you might also just be stuck dancing around trying to make all of these different things work and never actually getting anywhere because you're just batting heads and clashing swords um, and so like it could be a long slow journey it might not be the fastest way there it might not be the most enjoyable comfortable way there um, and it's like there's a lot of intuition in this card there's a lot of yellow being worn by these people and some people have the yellow in their feet and other people have it in their arms there's also a lot of red there's a little bit of blue and a little bit of green so there's a lot of like color energy going on it's like a bit of the heart a bit more of the throat um, quite a bit of the root and quite a bit of intuition but there's not really much higher thinking going on not much spiritual stuff going on um, and and so like those those two energy centers are being missed out entirely in this situation it's all really like earth centered earth focused earth bound and and the only the like the ones are all trying to reach up to to the ones are trying to like hit a higher source of information yeah to like connect with that true source your higher self or a higher power and yet they're not really getting there because they just look a bit like uncoordinated and muddled so like i guess if you want to try and fix it at home alone you need to you need to kind of fine tune it down to one point not five different ones yeah to one thing to five things either all working together to this into this neat shape or or just just go with one and maybe you'll pick the right one and maybe you won't yeah so there's also the danger of that but it's like the the true way is to connect to something higher up and then bring that down rather to, than to be like rattling around on the ground and then the how can I fix it if not? So if that approach doesn't really appeal to you um, or doesn't work for you because you know maybe you want to try it first because it's not saying no, it's saying maybe it just might take a while. Um, and maybe you might have to sift through four different things before you get to the fifth one that works. So if you want to just go straight in and figure out how to fix it, the card that came up is the tower card which is really interesting because this card is basically the blow it all up card. It's basically like throw a grenade at your whole life, blow it all apart, jump out of the tower, abort, leave everything behind and trust that the universe is going to catch you. And um, this is not a card that people really generally like to receive. Um, so maybe you want to stay here and try and figure it out on your own um but if but if you are feeling brave and you're feeling like you want to embrace that stronger force and that quicker path it's it's kind of saying that you really need to just dive headfirst into the unknown you need to leave everything that you know everything that you trust everything that you've done before behind and dive deep into the unknown and into a like down here where they're diving if we look at this and we think okay so they're diving down and if we see this not as a mountain that's part of the tower but as like a massive crystal yeah so you know like in superman when and I don't remember enough about Superman and I never really like kind of followed it that like passionately so um but like Superman comes from this crystal world planet or something doesn't he it's like where where he came from it was like there were crystals everywhere it was made out of crystal and that's where they got their power and their healing and their strength from and this card is like kind of saying that that that's that's the energy that you need to embrace it's like to dive 
into the unknown and trust that when you land you're not kind of falling down actually you're falling up and you're gonna end up in this crystalline place and it's like the world beneath you is all messy and complicated and hot and bothered and temperamental um, and and it's kind of uh, it's it's kind of falling apart it's on fire it's, it's not in a healthy state and the way to kind of deal with that is not to like flip flap around inside it and try to put out the fire while still living in the burning house it's like kind of saying no you kind of have to get out of the burning house and go and build a new house because this house is messed up um and and so in, and instead of seeing these people as falling which is a bit scary and not very comforting you can see these people as like they're leaving and then they're rising they're flying they're floating they're going to like a higher place a better place um and they look a bit like like phoenix the phoenix when it rises out of the flames it's like all of this it's like um the birds kind of like flaming feathers really um they're definitely they're leaving the darkness behind it's like there's all the darkness up here and all the heat and the inflammation and the fire and the hot and botheredness and the anger and the hatred and the conflict and the criticism and the whatever and they're just going enough enough abort and they're jumping out and they're abandoning ship and they're going to a different space so it's like the way the way to resolve the situation is not to not to not to be scared and not to keep beating about the same bush and not to keep applying the same set things to the situation because you could just keep trying those for, for days and days and months and months and years and years and not really get anywhere because it's all a big tangled mess and you know these people are not working together they've all got their own separate opinions and beliefs and they're all coming from a separate different angle they're not like cohesive the way to kind of move faster is to approach the situation with the energy of the tower card which is like in order to heal this thing i kind of have to blow it up so that's say for example the problem is um something to do with your health yeah so maybe you have food allergies or maybe you you know have daily migraines or daily stomach aches or maybe you have eczema um, or maybe you have like high blood pressure or you know in order to approach that situation in a blow it up mentality instead of just changing one tiny thing in your diet like going oh okay well i'm going to go gluten free for a bit and see what happens or i'm going to go dairy free for a bit and see what happens maybe like the the better approach and the quicker approach is just to blow what previously existed up yeah so annihilate it completely it no longer exists nothing in your former life can can come in and you start from the bottom from scratch and you rebuild so you cut everything out and you start with just like you you, you research like an anti-inflammatory or a diet or the autoimmune diet and you 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 start off with like one or two foods um and you mono eat or you raw eat and you you test those out and you see how you feel and you do that for a couple of weeks and then you gradually add in more and more and more and and, and do it very very slowly fine tuning it all along the way so that you know what your body does and doesn't like or responds to 
maybe you have to go on like a juice cleanse to start off with for a few weeks or even like a kind of like just water for like one to two to three to you know however many days um and, and maybe you have to do this with like a qualified practitioner who can monitor you while you do it um but it's like the 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 point that i'm trying to make is that it's not about changing one or two tiny little things and and, and being not not putting everything into it it's like maybe you really do have to relinquish control and jump into the unknown and start again from scratch yeah so go back to being a newborn infant and then build it up from there and abandon everything that you have created as an adult um you know if it's to do with relationships maybe you have to stop approaching the relationship in the way that you have been trying previously because it's not working maybe you have to just show up as your 100 percent unfiltered self and speak truly and clearly from your heart and accept the fact that it might go horrifically wrong and that might be the end of that friendship but maybe you need to risk blowing the whole thing up and losing the whole thing it so that you can speak your truth in order to potentially and hopefully have a more honest um trustworthy compassionate grounded relationship afterwards um and so it, it's a card that's basically kind of calling upon you to be brave and to be a bit of a risk taker um because that is the quicker clearer path and blowing it up doesn't have to be negative or painful or terrifying blowing it up can simply mean let's go back to the beginning and start again let's take this from its inception how can I simplify this to its core in order to begin again um, so either approach could work for you one might take a lot of more time and one might not get you the result you want the other one will be quicker but it also comes with no guarantees um, and it will be more uncomfortable but um, it will create more change in your life and from change comes growth and healing um, so yeah so I, I hope that was helpful to your situation um, if you have any questions you would like to ask me um, please do get in contact with me if you have a particular question you would like me to do a reading on please do get in contact with me um, you know like my video subscribe to my page and send me a message and I can do you a video reading or if you'd like to have a private consultation with me then get in contact you can find me um, via my website lemonrosepetals.com or on instagram on lemon rose petals um, and there you can also um, find more information about what i do about tarot um, and um, and more videos and stuff as well so um, yeah i hope to see you again in one or all of those places